hello 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 and welcome to my youtube channel my name is maya today's video is going to be like a celebration video so ta -da! i got my acceptance letter uh, 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 uh. so it says here congratulations you have been accepted to herzen university we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected for admittance to the diploma in practical nursing program beginning may night so you know it is um today is the 12th so i've already been accepted you know i've already went to orientation i already um sat for the first day of class <clears throat> and um i've already completed my first assignment <laughs> so but i just received the paper copy in the mail so you know this is good to have it's on nice partridge paper i'm gonna keep it and um forever <laughs> I want to talk about right now um, the requirements for admittance to the program at Herzing. You do have to have at least a 2.0, and this is for the um, diploma and practical nursing program specifically. You have to have at least a 2.0, and you have to have at least a 48 on the T test. So I scored higher than that, um, and then after that, they re they evaluate you based off of like your past credits and everything, your experience in school. Your GPA plus your T's test, and from there you are selected. So, um, yes, yeah, so I already went to orientation, which was very exciting. You know, we took our picture for our um, our badge, and I believe I'm supposed to go pick that up um, this week. <clears throat> but um, we took our picture for that, and we learned all about the program, and it was very detailed. So yes, we learned everything from the Ruta to the Tuta. We learned everything about, um, you know, additional paperwork you need to submit um, for the program, like all of the required um, vaccinations and everything. Uh, we learned about the background check process. You have to pass the background check. And um, not saying, um, like when you go there and everything, they do ask that you're as honest as possible. And, and they said that, um, you want to be honest as possible just in case because depending on your record if you have anything more than like a minor traffic violation then that could possibly affect your ability to be placed at a clinical site as well as sit free board so and then uh, moreover um we talked about on professionalism at the clinical sites um, it's very important that we maintain a professional attitude and everything um, because our relationship, um, the program's relationship with the clinical sites are very much so dependent on how we behave. And then even beyond that, you know, because these clinical sites could eventually snowball, you know, snowball into, you know, a potential employer. So, you know, because some clinical sites, they like you, they may want to keep you. So you want to be as professional as possible. <laughs> And so, um, more old than that, uh, we talked about support and how um, there's so much support that's available for us um, if, you know, in the event that, you know, life happens, you know, we always say, God forbid, but you just never know. And so, um, more older than that, um, we talked about, um, like, attire, you know, we talked about that, how we're um, expected to care ourselves, how... Um, we have to make sure that we are maintaining, um, you know, proper hygiene and everything. That our hair, you know, the standards regarding our hair, um, you know, of course, your nails. You can't wear artificial nails. Um, you can't wear artificial um, eyelashes and things of that nature, you know, due to hygiene purposes and safety. And um, moreover than that. Um, what else did we talk about? Oh, we talked about the uniforms and everything and what we're supposed to wear. And um, we graduated from talking about that to talking about um, our schedules. So we got to look at our schedule and I'm very pleased with my schedule. So I'm expected to graduate um, next April. And then after so, I graduate, then I would um, take I will sit for my boards, the NCLEX, um, LPN. And then after that, um, I can go straight into the RN. So there's the bridge program that's associated with the school. A lot of people do that. They go, they graduate, 
and they bridge straight over into RN. And then, um, you know, I have, you know, my plans for additional education. But when all that comes up, then I will discuss. But for now, we're sticking to where I'm at. <laughs> and so, um, I do want to talk about transfer credits because I did bring in transfer credits. Um, I already have a degree. And so when I came in, um, I was able to transfer in a lot of my credits. Um, and the only class that I'm taking right now um, before I move on basically to complete clinical is I'm having to retake Human Anatomy 1 because I got a C in it um, previously and now um, I need to achieve a B. So, um, but after I finish these next um, eight weeks, of school I moved into term B and term B is where I pretty much start the, the clinical process or like fundamental process rather I hope I'm saying that correctly at that point I start all of my nursing courses um, so I have my patient assessment my pharmacology and then I have um, I have that for the next eight weeks and then after that I have um, after that, I have my, um, what you call foundations for nursing, yes. And then after that, um, med surge, and that's all I got for this year. So the way that they do things as far as your schedule, um, firstly, is based on terms per semester. So your classes are broken up. So you won't, you won't take the same classes for like uh, four or five months, you would, it would be split. So you have eight weeks per um, class and then um, per term. So it's two terms, eight weeks per term, and then the whole semester is where the two terms fall under. And then um, when you get your schedule, you only get your schedule for the next um, two semesters. So I have my schedule set for this summer, the two terms for the summer, and then the two terms for the fall. And then um, right when I finish those and I'm successful, then I will receive my next scores, excuse me, I will receive my next schedule for um, the remaining of my time in the program. So I am pretty stoked. <laughs> Um, and then after that, you know, after I graduate and everything, I do want to take a break for the summer. And then, like I said, just jump right on in to the Arwen program in the fall and get that over with because that's not that long. That's like an additional, um, I think it's like, it's not that long for me. I think that'll be like an additional nine months. I have to see. But anyway, um, that's all I have to share in this video about my acceptance, about requirements for admittance about um, if you're transferring in credits, about you know the structure of the um, classes, you know, they're on term, two terms per semester. So um, that's all I have to share. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more nursing videos, more nursing school videos, um, and have a good one.